Jason Shark, Ace Vegas here. Hope you're doing well, and I am ready for a new experience. Let's try the Fremont experience. Let's go. Is the Ace of Vegas the Ace of Vegas? All right, spinners and sharks, here we are. We're coming up to the Fremont experience. So, counter to popular culture and popular belief, the Fremont Street experience isn't actually just the whole downtown area. It's a specific canopy in a specific section of downtown that only includes about seven different uh, hotels and casinos. All right, guys, first stop on our tour is Slotzilla. That is the zip line that takes you all the way down the Fremont Street experience. Unfortunately, it's closed uh, to ma for maintenance, and they misspelled mechanical uh, on the sign over here, because I'm definitely the one who needs to talk about misspellings in their uh, videos and slash door signs. So unfortunately, we can't do this video as of right now. Maybe next time we'll get a... Uh, We'll get a nice little look at the Slotzilla experience here. But let's go ahead and move on. And let's head down to the next part. So you'll notice that there are going to be a lot of kind of blanked out parts of the video over here. Because there's just so much music down here. And the Fremont Street experience is all about music and entertainment. In fact, the canopy was kind of designed just so you could uh, experience the music and the entertainment. It's a good time. To pick up your Slotzilla tickets over this way too. Okay. And we're good to go across here. All right, and we are back in. So now we're under the canopy, which I believe initially had 2.1 million lights in it, and they just kind of went from there <laughs> as it evolved. And then first stop on our tour is the D. I'm saying at the D this time, uh, compliments of the marketing department sending me out a couple comp rooms over there, so that was pretty cool. We're gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to do a tour of the D one of these days. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that, but that's what we're looking at on this side. And then Tacos y Miches is on the other side over here. So that's another cool thing to notice. Ah, oh gosh, yeah, this place is just so much bigger. It's not like strip big because Fremont Street only extends about five blocks or roughly uh, about eight tenths of a mile, really. They still have the outside uh, D bar over here where you can get all your fun mixed drinks. And then the cheap souvenirs, like the cheap uh, <laughs> cheap t-shirts, and all the cool, goofy uh, Vegas stuff, as well as the oxygen bar on the right side over here. Then, of course, we have the live stage for the Fremont Street Experience. I think this was a big part of the uh, celebration when we started at the D last time for the Circuit Grand opening. So... As we keep going, we're looking at the Four Queens on this side. Unfortunately, uh, Four Queens had to shut down their game because of some problems and some licensing issues with Google, at least that's what I heard. But the casino still stands to this day. 
And on the other side, we have the Fremont uh, Casino over this way. I'll probably put a nice little fun fact on that. I'm still waking up, so I don't have all of my history flowing through my head like I normally do. So that's one. So we're past our first three hotel casinos here. Of course, got the Chippendales boys. How's it going, fillers? How you doing, man? Pretty good. Got every time I walk down here, I feel like I need to start working out more. And we've gone through Four Queens and Fremont, kind of back to back, and we get to enjoy a lot more of the street art and street performances that Fremont is known for. And admittedly, it's kind of amazing to see. Even during the day, it's quite the amazing spectacle. <laughs> then we have the famous Wait to Cross Casino Center before we get over to Binion's and Golden Nugget. Fun fact, Golden Nugget is the first uh, hotel casino I say it at downtown ever. That's only because I saw the casino TV show, which I have uh, mercilessly ripped to shreds in my reviews. Yep, and it's definitely downtown Vegas. Sirens, keep it true. But yep, here we are, Binion Shambling Hall and the Apache. On the right hand side over here, as we continue going towards Plaza, and then the Golden Nugget on the left, also formerly owned by Steve Wynn. Vegas. Uh, what's that? The Ace. Yeah, how do you know? I'm a follower. Oh, what's your name, man? Lance. Lance, nice to meet you, Ace. Nice to meet you, Ace. Good deal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Lance, we actually, I'm actually recording right now. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> All right, good deal. This is Lance. <laughs> Ran into him on my 4K uh, strip walk over here. Probably going to have to, I'm probably going to have, well, I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up, but we'll put it up this week. All right, I can't wait to see it. All right, my man. Hey, Thank good you to see so you, brother. All good right. Come with you. Ah, oh, I love that we have such a good, positive community. Alright, and we're back to Golden Nugget and Binion's yet again. What a great street art right now. Daytime Fremont is a little different from nighttime Fremont. So I think in those circles there, those are usually where you have the uh, the dancers. So you have the fellas without, uh, with the big muscles and the no shirt on, and then the ladies with the uh, very uh, yoga figures and no shirt on. Designated street performer circles are closed um, until further notice. Interesting. I wonder how you get one of those street performer circles. We should do another video about that, Spanish and Sharks. Let's look into that. If anyone has any, uh, any insight on that, go ahead and comment down below. So, all right, coming through. And we'll see. Ah, another Fremont Street experience stage. So this is where we started Circa last time. Okay, I remember now. Because this was the stage they're doing the announcement and doing like the newscast and all that. And then here's where we were going to line up. Then we ended up on the back end over there because Kino Kid came through. Now, just like a lot of corn stock uh, art over here. So once we get past Circa, 
And you guys have probably seen plenty of Circa on the channel by now. There's Lance again. Good to see you, bud. <laughs> Alright. Then we also have some more of uh, Golden Gate over here. The sister property to the D. Well, I guess the... I don't know. This The, the younger ver... I don't know what it is. The budget version. Then you have the higher end Circa over here. And then we start coming up on the plaza. We're also at the end of the slot Zilla where you kind of get off. So you can actually fly across the entire nearly one mile long Fremont Street experience. And I love that the D, the Golden Gate, and Circa all have an outdoor bar. So you can still kind of socially distance, do your thing at different bars and, you know, different like, uh, you know, little sandwich shops and all that. They have the barbecue place out here. Which would be a good place for us to spend those meal credits. But I had uh, something else in mind. And Plaza is the very end of the Fremont Street experience here. You're gonna have your Oscars uh, Steakhouse in here and then all the other fun stuff. Cause Plaza is just a great hotel. Brian Christopher has his own little slot section over there. I guess he's got a sponsorship now. Congratulations to uh, BC Slots for that man. Brian has been putting in the work for years and he's uh, definitely earned that. So bad shout out to him. Uh, unfortunately, Turn It Up World and I didn't have great luck over there last night when we were going. But you know what? Hey, that's how slots go. You win some, you lose some. All right, finishing shirts, but that is it. That is the whole Fremont Street experience. If you enjoyed today's video and found it informative, at least a little bit, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. In the meantime, I think I might check out a couple of these historic hotels here and tell you a little more about the history. Till next time though, it's Ace of Vegas, we're signing out. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.